Howdy, and welcome to my class review of Varg Freeborn's Introduction to the Force on Force. This class was held September 27th, the year 2020, was hosted by Integrated Defense Group. Um, Mark L. Manning, Director and Certified Instructor, was one of the instructors. Varg Freeborn was the second instructor. And Scott, I believe his last name is pronounced Wyland, was the third instructor. So we had Scott, Varg, and Mark. Excellent class. Can't recommend it enough. Um, it was a, like the class said, introduction to Force on Force, if you don't know what that is. Force on Force is where they have these Glocks that are modified to shoot paint marker rounds. So they still operate like a gun, but instead of shooting bullets, they shoot paint marker rounds that leave little paint spots when they land on their target. <clears throat> and so there's, there's learning through pain, and it's excellent. So, highly recommend it. And the, the purpose of this tool is to put you in scenarios where you have to decide what to do and you may actually go through the process of shooting a person for real shooting a person with paint marker rounds but dealing with the consequences of that afterwards as well because it's scenario based i'm not going to get into the exact scenarios what we dealt with because the whole point uh of the lesson of learning objective is that you don't know what to expect going into the scenario, which is reality. Like you don't know that the convenience store is about to get robbed when you're in there. So I'm not going to tell you what to expect because that's going to take away from the learning objective. If you walk in there with some foresight knowledge of what to expect or what's about to happen. So please take this class as soon as you can. You can find it uh, and everything that Varg Freeborn does at vargfreeborn.com. Sign up for the class as soon as you can. Because he's already made it perfectly clear that he's not sticking around and doing this forever. He's coming in, dropping some knowledge, and scooting back out. So get it while you can. Get it if you can. Varg uh, is way cooler than I even expected. Um, yeah, I, I've kept up with all of his podcasts, YouTube videos, read all of his articles, Facebook, and read his book. Um, so I've always gotten like the impression that he's a cool dude and all this stuff. Uh, but this was the first time I actually met him in person. And so like it's now it's like, is the online personification what I'm actually going to find? And he was actually a lot cooler. Very approachable, very personable. Uh, we could have went to high school together and been buds the whole time to now. Like, he's, he's that cool. You know what I mean? So, I hope that makes sense. Anyways, um, he doesn't charge enough for his classes. I'll tell you that right now. I paid 200 ish dollars, whatever. It was 165 for the tuition, 35 to buy the UTM rounds. And then we paid a separate $10 fee for, for the range property owner. Um, so, yeah, it was 200 bucks, you know, plus 10 bucks. I could have easily paid $300 and felt I got fair value for what I learned. Easily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> tell you about one scenario I had to deal with where a guy presented a problem with a gun. And my response was draw and shoot. And I shot three times and I hit the bad guy three times and he shot back at me, but he only uh, just grazed. There you see that mark right there. Maybe not. There's a little mark right there. So, you know, this being over here, he shot and that bullet just kind of grazed past me. But I mean, it could have easily been me getting shot, maybe not dying at least not on the spot, but definitely having a really bad day. So it could have easily been a lot worse for me, is what I'm saying. But it it so happened that um, put good shots down range. I was happy about that in my performance. And then it was the aftermath of, you know, I had a bystander to deal with, uh, very realistic, and, you know, how to handle, you know, calling 911 and what to say and what not to say. And the thing about it is, is despite all the training that I've had, 
and I've had a lot of training. I've been training since in the civilian world since 08 when I got out of the Marine Corps. So I've had a lot ish relative to most people. Plenty of people got more training than me. A lot of people ain't got as much as me. So I find myself in the middle and all that training, I knew what to do, but I didn't execute as well as I was, uh, planning to or expected or as well as I expected myself to. So that's something that really stuck with me. And that's something that I'm definitely going to be working on, focusing on and developing that habitual mindset of this is what I need to do procedure wise. So that was my biggest takeaway. Hmm. Please don't mind the cricket. That is my buddy. I keep him fed and happy and he sings me sweet little songs. Yeah. Uh, the paint marker rounds. Well, before that, Varg, one of the things I really appreciate about him is that he is very attentive to the safety aspect. We were all patted down and we sanitized the entire area and it was kept in a controlled environment to make sure that nobody had any stabbies, slices, or pew pews, bang bangs, uh, in the simulation scenario area. It was just the simulation and training tools. So, uh, love that. And then, second of all, he was also very focused on the fact that we all had gloves because getting shot in the hands, you know, these little digits need to be protected because it happens a lot. Uh, full neck and head protection. I used my motorcycle helmet and I had a shemog wrapped around my neck to protect head and neck. And, and then I forgot something and he mentioned it. And I forgot that I had forgotten it until he mentioned it. He said, uh, did everybody bring a cup? And I was like, oh no. Because what if I get shot in the balls? That's going to be a bad day. But luckily he said something. And I remembered I had a spare change of clothes in my truck. So I went and grabbed the t-shirt and stuffed it in my pants. And let me tell you something. I'm glad I did. <laughs> Check it out. Wow. I got shot in the nuts. <laughs> it happens. And I'm so glad he said something. And I was able to protect my little boys. Oh, it's been a bad day. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what else can I say about the crash? The class was great. Highly recommend it. I'm sure I've said it at least three times. I'm going to say it again because it's absolutely true. <laughs> Just going over my notes real quick about what we went through in the class. A lot of mindset oriented issues were discussed in the lecture. Um, a lot of stuff kind of sort of new, but he put it in words. And so it was rearranged in, as far as like priority in my mind about what is actually important and what should be important and what I thought was important. Um, in consideration by comparison. So I appreciated that. And again, I'm not going over the specifics of the class because I'm not interested in giving away trade secrets in the first place. Um, and secondly, you're better off getting it from the horse's mouth. So. Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Oh, also, them rounds hurt. Pew, 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 pew. They leave welts. They sting. So, you know, they're moving along pretty good. I deserve these. Just, just so you know, I was being a jerk. And I got shot for it. And par for the course. <laughs> so... Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So yeah, uh, I think that's all I've got to say about that. So thanks for sticking around. Uh, 
I know I've said it a hundred times, I'll say it again. Highly recommend this class. Highly recommend y'all get in contact and get caught up with the stuff that Varg's putting out there between his podcast, his book, his articles. Soak up everything that you can while you can. And I think I'm going to sign off. Am I going to sign off? Mm-hmm. That is all I've got to say, folks. Catch you later.